Sys parameters are data sheet behavioral parameters such as gain, 1 dB compression, noise figure, and VSWR that characterizes a nonlinear system block, such as an amplifier or a mixer. Sys parameters can be dependent on frequency, temperature, or DC bias. The Spectrosys system simulator can use Sys parameter to accurately define the amplifiers and mixers for analyzing the RF performance of, say, a transmitter or a receiver. Genesis includes libraries of datasheet sys parameters from vendors such as Mini Circuits, Analog Devices, X Microwave, and Custom MMIC to facilitate the rapid selection and feasibility evaluation of available system components in your RF system design. From the part selector, you can directly examine the vendor's datasheet, the SIS parameters spreadsheet, and go directly to their website to make purchases. As an example, let's use the ERA4 mini circuit amplifier from this brochure in my L-band transmitter and quickly evaluate if it gives better transmit in a mod and error vector magnitude performance than a previous amplifier that I've been using. This way, when you are satisfied with the system performance, the choice of components has already been made. This is more accurate and efficient than manually searching the catalogs for system components that approximates the made-up specs, which are not frequency, temperature, or bias dependent in traditional spreadsheet-like simulation. Sys parameters versus frequency can also be directly defined by clicking on the System Component Frequency tab and editing the sys parameters directly. To do that, set the frequency mode parameter to zero on normal, and then go to the frequency tab to insert your frequencies and the sys parameters that depend on it. So for example, I'm inserting the gain and noise figure that depends on frequency. Next, we can do a re-simulation just to verify that these parameters are frequency-dependent. Frequency-dependent sys parameters are also stored as vectors on the Parameters tab. Sys parameters can also be created in an Excel spreadsheet and imported into Genesis as a sys parameter dataset. The easiest way to do this is to use a vendor's sys parameter spreadsheet as a template then edit and save it. From the Genesis file menu, import your safe sysparameter Excel file into a dataset on your workspace tree. To use it, associate the RFM component to use your imported sysparameter dataset by selecting the frequency mode parameter from 0 normal to 1 file dataset. Since sys parameters can be multidimensional with dependence on frequency, temperature, and bias, we can display it using 3D plots. The quickest way to do this is to use an example that ships with Genesis and change the dataset name to your own and let the pre-written MATLAB equations do the rest. To learn more about using sys parameters in your RF system design, explore the other examples under the Spectrosys frequency dependence folder that we were in. And thanks for watching.